Alright guys, I see the prairie dog. Prairie dog is in there. Metele la mano, metele la mano. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. What is up? Today we have a first. Um, I had someone sent me a message that they found a prairie dog, a very obviously dumped animal in Miramar. So I drove down, I live about 45 minutes away. I drove down, um, I was able to find the area where the prairie dog was seen. Wait until you see this. I'm in my car right now, but this is where the prairie dog is living, right over here in these rocks. So I've been here for about two hours and um, some really nice gentlemen actually saw me looking for something and came over and um, I don't speak Spanish. I really need to learn Spanish and they didn't speak English, but using Google Translate, I was able to figure out that they actually have seen the prairie dog and they saw him this morning. So we were looking around for like a half hour, but it's really hot. So I decided to call my friend who speaks Spanish and she was able to translate for me. And they said they've been seeing him every day for about a week. And every single night, the prairie dog sleeps under those rocks. So we are gonna wait um, probably another hour to two hours and just see if the prairie dog shows up. Hopefully it's sleeping and I can remove it or catch it and get it the medical care it needs. Uh, it has a pretty serious eye infection. The eye looks like completely swollen shut. So definitely need some medical care. Um, I have gloves, welding gloves since prairie dogs do bite. And you know, this animal has been in the wild. So I don't know what diseases, if any, it has. Um, and they bite very hard. So I do have welding gloves. I have some food for it. Um, I have a trap if I need it. And I also have a carrier. So right now it's just a waiting game. All right guys, I see the prairie dog. There he is. I got some awesome people helping me right now. So as I was looking for the prairie dog, I had this amazing group of men come and help me and they just took initiative and started digging, trying to reach into the hole to grab the prairie dog. They started moving rocks. They started grabbing shovels and digging this animal out. It was, it was amazing. We are calling the prairie dog Harvey. We have an appointment with the vet tomorrow to get him checked out. 
Um, Harvey is definitely sassy. Uh, he has a very strong personality. He does what he wants, but he's also like, he has a sweet moment. So he really likes it when you scratch him under the armpits and he'll lay down, let you pet him. So this is his temporary setup. You can come take a look. I do have him in a Zen habitat, which has actually been working out really well because he gets to like dig and burn himself. The museum is right over there. He just kind of uh, rearranges it how he wants and does his own thing. Look how cute he is. <laughs> He's so funny. So he's finally um, eating a little bit. When we first got him, I ordered him, you know, special prairie dog pellets and I was offering him a bunch of veggies and Timothy hay and just like a ton of stuff. And all he wanted were Nutriberries. Nutriberries are his favorite thing. And then we gave him like a dog biscuit and he loved that too. So um, obviously not the ideal diet, but I just wanted him to eat. So like I said, tomorrow we're gonna bring him to the vet. I did treat him with a little bit of Frontline, which um, was approved by an exotic vet that I am friends with. So we gave him a little bit of Frontline. When we first got him, he was very, very itchy. And the patches of hair that were missing were really concerning. A few prairie dog owners told me that's actually pretty normal, like that's how they shed. But because he was itchy and the hair loss and he had some scabs on his head, my first thought was mange. Um, so we treated him and he's definitely not as itchy now. So as you can see, he has a little naked tail and these patches of hair. I never had a prairie dog. That doesn't look normal to me, but a lot of people are saying it's normal. I just, I've never seen a naked tail like that. I've worked with like prairie dogs in the past briefly. Uh, when I was 15, I was volunteering at a nature center and they had a prairie dog. And then I was a zookeeper when I first moved to Florida and they had two prairie dogs, but I've never like interacted with them this closely. Macy, can I scratch your armpits? Will you lay down if I scratch the armpits? Thinking about it? Oh, thinking about it, okay, let's see. I'll scratch these armpits. Wait, wait, wait. Let me scratch, let me scratch Harvey. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Can you see how cute he is? Hi. Yeah, the armpit scratches. The armpit scratches. Don't wait. Don't wait. Okay, and he's leaving. <laughs> So I just wanted to give everybody just a quick little update. He's doing well. Um, I will, I don't know if I'm gonna do a separate video or add it into today's video um, where we're taking him to the vet, but he looks pretty good. We definitely have to get his eye checked out. This eye is still a little weird, but it doesn't look um, too, too serious. It looked a lot more significant in the video that they sent me when they first uh, saw him, but okay. I'm gonna put him back now, but thank you guys so much for, for watching. And uh, yeah, sorry we haven't been posting. Things have been absolutely crazy. We've been getting a lot of rescued animals in, but um, we have a few videos coming out this week, including a collab with Bird Tricks. So we're super excited to show you guys that, and we'll see you on the next episode.